Alright, what is going on guys, Alistair from Abandoned here and today we're going on an exploration in Liverpool. Um, recently I've not been uploading just because I've been on holiday as you just saw from the clips before this commentary. Uh, we're going to some sort of World War II bunker building, it's really big and hopefully we can get onto the roof because it looks quite a tall building. But yeah, we're on the way there now, we should be there in like 15-20 minutes and yeah, let's go. You can just see it just over the top of that building there. Jesus Christ, it's huge. Seeing a tent there, which is a bit dodgy. There's loads of shit. This colossal structure in Liverpool is known as the Littlewoods Pool Building. The building was made in 1938. Littlewoods Football Pools was founded in 1923 by John Moores and based in this building on Edge Lane. The building had various uses throughout its lifetime. During World War II, it was used for the manufacture of barrage balloons and woolen material. At the outbreak of the war, the building's mighty printing presses were used to print 17 million national registration forms in just three days. It was also the nerve centre of the MC5, the government agency that intercepted mail to break enemy codes. Bomb shelters in the basement areas still contain artwork and graffiti on the walls dating from the 1941 wartime blitz and the Battle of the Atlantic, when parts of Liverpool, its rail yards and docklands suffered more bombs per square mile than even London's East End. We cannot find out exactly when this building shut down, but after many failed regeneration schemes, in September 2015 a revised plan from Capital and Centric was approved which will see the building being turned into a 25 million new film studio. So we just heard some sort of voice coming through like a mega speaker or some shit, so we're gonna go out because we don't know if it was for us, but it just sounded dodgy and it, it definitely was like in here inside of this place. So we're just gonna go out for a bit, do something else and then come yeah, back come probably and have another go. Yeah, yeah. Alright, so this voice that we just heard, it just said something again, it said um if you do not leave the area, further action will be taken. So we don't really know what we're gonna do. We're gonna think about it and then yeah, we'll decide in a sec. Alright, so we decided to leave that building and we've come to another place, it's like an abandoned library and we are there now, as you can see, they're just going in just there. Um, so yeah, hopefully this place is cool. We've seen some other people go in already since we got here, um, so hopefully they're not too dodgy and the explore's fine, so yeah, let's go in. Lister Drive or the Andrew Carnegie Library was constructed with a donation of funding from an Andrew Carnegie and opened in 1905. The building is two storeys, has a slate roof and an octagonal turret and was designed by Thomas Shelbardine. Following an accident with a member of staff, the library closed in 2006 as this period of unoccupation has resulted in the library being subject to theft, vandalism and neglect. However, the library is set to get a fresh start with plans being approved to turn the building into a community hub. Upon arriving, we realised this would be a challenge to get in.
So this place closed in 2006 after a woman got a gate fallen on her and apparently it was like too many health and safety concerns so they just ended up closing it. Yeah, it just lies like this right now. Looks like there's been some construction on it because there's other these wires and there's some alarms and building equipment but Looking back at the old pictures of this library, you can see how it was used back in its day. Obviously people came here to get books, but also it seems as if children perhaps came here at school to do some extra learning or to have a look at the books they might be interested in or to pick them out. The near fatal accident that occurred here must have been bad because it seems as if this was a really good part of Liverpool. Jesus Christ, this is so dodgy.